playing a lot of out, outdoor shows, of course, and we were, and we were playing this brand new record, and, um, yep. and we were playing this um, this lighthouse series up in Michigan. We're just going to brag real quick. We play lighthouses up in Michigan sometimes, and um, and we were playing these. It's a very family-friendly event where lots of people travel from all over to see these lighthouses and the sunset and a little folk band playing. It's very picturesque. Very. You know, it, mm -hmm. Perfect for family vacation. And here we were, the sad little folk band. <laughs> Playing songs off of "We're Only Family" yeah. if you say so. Yeah, and we thought this is not this is not going to go well for us. And um, and it turns out that um, family vacation is exactly when people are thinking of breaking up with their families. <laughs> and so for July, we really made bank up in Michigan. <laughs> so. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So so before before we split up with my family, though, I thought it would be a really good idea to um, endear them to me somehow. And so I thought what I would do is I would just dig up all of our family secrets and put them in songs and share them with the rest of the world. Um, which I see now that I should have run that by someone first. Um, but we started this song bef before the split, and it's, it's one of my favorite favorite stories as a kid. I, I grew up in Western Pennsylvania. Um, north of Pittsburgh by about 40 miles or so um, and I lived up on this uh, com compound of sorts um, it uh, it was probably not a cult um, but we're gonna flesh that out on the next record as well right <laughs> and so we lived there in the front and grandma lived in the back and uh, we had some great aunts and uncles in between and, and, and grandma she started to get sick and so she called everybody into her house, including the family that's not invited to live on the compound. And, uh, and we all gathered in her room and she said, now listen here, what I have is a cash box. And inside of this cash box, there are envelopes. And every single envelope has a name on it. All of you have an envelope in this cash box. She said, when I die, you need to look for this cash box because it's the only thing I'm ever going to give you. And we said, thank you so much, Grandma, and good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck? Yeah, that's what that's we say what in Western said. PA. Yes. And so um, she, did, she did eventually pass away. And the next morning, um, the extended family came onto the property and, in order to help with arrangements. And, um, and when they got there, Grandma's car was missing. Um, and then they got into the house and they saw that um, all of Grandma's jewelry was also missing. And so then they, they, they looked for the cash box and um, they couldn't find it. And so uh, so they went to my parents and they kind of said, hey, what, what, what happened here? My parents said, it is the craziest thing. You see, in the middle of the night, we saw these headlights coming up the driveway. We didn't realize what was going on. But you see, the nurse that was here, the hospice nurse, she saw that grandma was about to go. And so she called her boyfriend. And the boyfriend came and they, they made off with everything. Which I thought was a great story. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> like, I just, and so I traded my inheritance for that story, so it's got to be a good one. And so, um, and so we were all sort of standing around in disbelief, just sort of looking at each other, like Grandma's gone, and now this, and uh, and finally Uncle Skip, he kind of he kind of pops up, and he says, "I know what happened." And we say, "What happened?" And he says, "We well, see at the last second, Grandma." She saw what was going on, and so she she pulled herself out of her deathbed, and then and then she she took the cash box and she went to the garage and grabbed a shovel, and then she went to the backyard and she buried the cash box and then came back inside, and then passed. <laughs> and we all kind of looked at him and we went, "That's got to be it." So we all grabbed a shovel <laughs> and we went out back. We dug up that yard for a good day and a half, and I tell you what, it is going to surprise every person in here, but we did not find that cash box. <laughs> and so I just think it's such a fantastic story that, uh, that we wrote this song called My Inheritance, and, um, and we put it on the new record, and then we put the record out last year. And then um, I got a phone call from, from my family, from my extended family, and they said, Mallory, great new record. We have a few questions. I said, thank you, go ahead. And they said, um, that song, My Inheritance, what's it about? And I said, you know the story. And they said, we know the story. We would like to know what you think the story is. And so I told them the story I just told you about the nurse and the boyfriend. And then they said, Mallory, there was no nurse. Which does make it a more interesting story now, right? So, we have a whodunit on our hands, but it took me a good, I don't 
don't know, about a good hour in the afternoon to finally realize what my family was saying. And what they were saying was, um, well, it's like they gave me the, the game of Clue. But instead of it saying Clue on the front, it just said, Mallory, your parents took all the money. What is wrong with you? <laughs> But because we are people of reconciliation and peace and, and for the sake of future reconciliation with my family and also for the sake of historically accurate records, which is very important to us as folk singers, we are all going to suspend our disbelief here and we are all going to go with the story of the nurse and the boyfriend. She buried her money in the backyard the green she couldn't carry from the earth She told only her nurse And that nurse she told her boyfriend And they sped off with everything we're worth So Dan and his brother and his nephew Spent days trying to dig on up some truth While Grandma lay tight lit under the ground Around her shadows and the shovels came Cancer ever could. Don't got a light. Don't got a map. Don't got good intentions or a way of getting back. I've been chasing after scattered ashes. Brother found a better deal the south way. If you hung around as long he could. Thank mm -hmm. you. 